Yo, what's up, team? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. Hey, it's time for a movie review, y'all. Yes, it is. We got Ooh. the second movie of the year. What are we reviewing today? Plane. Mm. Yes. Also known as Plane is Falling. <laughs> Blue Blazer 119, we are dark. Is anyone near guard, damn it? We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit. My passengers, my responsibility. I'm gonna need your help. You're gonna need this. You form a military or something? You could say that. We're getting off this island. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Gerard Butler and uh, Lionsgate, man, giving us these mid-level B action movies. We yeah. appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah. Most, Keep them most, coming. Most definitely appreciate this, man. This is... Uh, one hell of a uh, beginning of a new year. We yeah. had Megan last week, a, yep. a horror thriller type of movie. And now yeah. we got an action drama. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yo, we, we, and, and they, and, and basically what it's telling uh, Hollywood is that you don't have to spend a lot to have a, a fun, going, interesting film. And uh, we're, we're simple men. Yeah. We are. The audience was very simple. Entertained. That's it. We were all entertained. <laughs> we all said, ooh, yeah. damn. Yeah. Right. Woo! Yeah. Everybody was excited. You know what I mean? And yeah. it didn't cost a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, with this energy, let's go ahead and get into this review. You ready? I'm ready, bro. For let's those out there that's new to the channel, let me explain how we like to go ahead and do reviews on J3 Entertainment. First thing first, this is a spoiler-free review. We won't be spoiling anything for you guys. And in fact, this is not the movie that you can even spoil because you kind of know what you're getting when you watch the trailer. Yeah. Second thing, we like to talk about the good and the bad. Then we go ahead and give you guys that grade. Ronan, are you ready to get into this review? I'm ready, bro. Let's get into the good. So the good for me, very simple movie. Uh, it's familiar territory. Feels like a 90s action film. Uh, the two leads mm -hmm. were great. I like the set, the simple premise setup. Uh, they did some new things in the genre with certain characters, I, I would have to say. And uh, I thought the uh, the suspense and tension was handled very well. Like, it was very guerrilla style filmmaking. It was dirty. It was grungy. It never looked clean or anything like that. So I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, uh, the action didn't disappoint at all. Very intense moments. Uh, we had great gun gun uh, action, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and weapon action. Oh, yeah. Very intense moments and very excitement situations. Uh, for a movie like this, I didn't think I was going to be at the edge of my seat, even though you kind of understand the movie. But it still was just very engaging like you're like oh crap okay let's see oh i know he's going to get popped but how is he going to get popped yeah that's what made this movie very unique <laughs> and very uh, uh engaging as far as a viewer watching a movie something we rarely get nowadays you know what i mean because that's true. you know we get so many over the top action films <clears throat> fast and furious that you kind of forget what a true action film would really look like that's facts yeah yeah i will say uh this movie had did some things that kind of resonated with me, and uh, I didn't realize I want to see Gerard Butler and Mike Coulter team up a little bit more. Like, yeah, uh, Mike shines in this movie, man. I uh, turned into a main character, starts out as a supporter, and then vice versa with Gerard Butler. And I thought that was very unique. Uh, the mutual respect, uh, buddy team up was great because yeah. it wasn't like, oh, we got to be friends, it was survival and trust. That was it. And I thought that was very unique, and uh, it elevates the movie because you see two men on different opposite sides of the law, and I thought that was great. So it's like, do or die, let's get out of this. Let's go home. And to second that, Gerard, I feel, yeah. brought a lot more out in the actor Michael Coulter yes, than yes. I've never seen before. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's like a, a guidance moment. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Gerard's like, this is how I do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is 300. So let me show you how I do it. You know what I mean? And uh, he he... Michael Coulter did not disappoint. You know, I was believing everything that he brought to the screen. Very believable situations. Um, that's what you got any more good? Uh, the detail and the action and uh, the flying scenes was really cool for yeah, a front man budget good. movie, man. It yeah. was uh, very great. Uh, I even like the handheld uh, shots with the fight scene in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. How he, they got on the ground and stuff like that. And then you saw like the skill sets. You know, it was very dirty. Like Gerard Butler was kind of like, and experience in that territory, so he had to get up close. The other guy was a brawler, so yeah, I yeah, like yeah, the detail yeah, yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, he's having problems right now. Yeah, yeah. I fly planes. Yeah, so it, it was very unique in that sense, man. And I just I just love, you know, the the rated R intensity, man. Like, we were just like, yo, 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 mm -hmm. what's, what's, what's coming? Like, 
you know the situation, you know the assignment, but it's it's the payoff, man. And that's what makes action movies great, man. Yeah. The payoff. The payoff was How they going to get out of this? The directing was great. Yeah. Uh, uh, took a lot of familiar movies for me. Like, I have some snakes on a plane. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The rundown. And you know what I mean? Go very f- very uh, uh, familiar scenes and styles. Let me see, like, 1970s, 80s, 90s type of style, camera movement, yeah. camera shots, close up shots was very familiar and when you have a familiar action movie it makes it that much better when you have to read a movie all the time like throughout the journey Mm -hmm. as far as directing it kind of takes you out of it but when you can just like you know it's like the back of your hand and you understand the assignment it makes it that much intense because you don't have to it's like you take part of your brain to kind of you know understand what's going on instead of just sitting back and eating and just watching this roller coaster because you already know what's you know what i mean it's kind of like that's true like yeah that's what made this, the directing really made this movie, man. You know, but that's all I got for good. You got any? You got any more? Uh, I'm gonna say uh, I just wanted a, a little bit more as far as like um, I don't know. I felt like the, it's a positive, so it's kind of it's kind of a mixture. But it, I felt like it was very fast paced. Yeah. So it that's another good thing too. Like it when you're like, dang, it's over. I, I'm expecting like another mission, but it yeah. keeps you on your toes. It's so intense, you forget. Like yeah, you, well they gotta go home. I'm, mm-hmm. I want yeah. another mission. <laughs> you gotta do something. So when the mercenary showed up, it was like all right. We, we about to do some uh, Call of Duty stuff. Yeah, we kind of yeah, got yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. That was a mission straight out of the game when they were trying to take off and you got the dude on the side of yeah, the hangar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. Um, Good stuff, y'all. Let's get into the bad. Um, I will say my culture doesn't get that push as far as the marketing for the movie goes because in, in my opinion, technically, he kind of was the main character. Okay. And vice versa with Gerard Butler. I can see that. And, and, and no, no shots at Gerard. Love him. But it was like Mike was really like hands on as far, as far as what his character was doing and the work he was putting in. You're the main character at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, for me, my bag goes down to the, the costume design. Uh, Michael Coulter's teeth were extremely white. Now, that's a great thing in his everyday life. Great hygiene. Love it. But for, for the character he was playing, I thought I wasn't looking for a, a crest toothpaste commercial. <laughs> he's smiling them things blinged yeah. i said yo bing! i'm like what prison is you in or who where, where they apprehend you from because you're too fresh you're too clean right, right, right you know what i mean i just i just felt it that didn't take me out of it it actually made it funnier but that is a dislike because it's like yo you're supposed to be a, a prisoner and your teeth are look better than than everybody else on the plane like them, them things were pearly white like i was like yo that's crazy and um another dislike is uh some of the passengers how they handled the situation i thought that right okay. there was unreal yeah you know um uh, for them to be questioning scenarios i i was like no that don't make sense to me right nah you know so especially somebody saved my life i'm not gonna question that person no more i'm not gonna be like you can't how are you gonna save me like yeah what like you, you owe them a debt at that point yeah you know what i mean yeah. so you know i i thought a little that was a little bit far-fetched as an action fan, just this is me just b- being spoiled. I-, I wanted a little bit more uh, ground uh, ground level action with the with the mercenaries and the uh, the rebels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I thought that would have been some good more. So I thought we were gonna get a little bit more Sicario since we were deep in their territory. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, one level one. we got. But you yeah. know what I'm saying? That extra detail. You know, when you throw us in there, man, go all in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All on deck. Um, but I love what we got. That's all I got that's bad. Because I knew what I was getting. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, yeah. You you understand the budget. You understand what you're going to see. You understand the actors. You understand all that. So it's not really everything else is just, just kind of like nitpicking or just what paint, putting, the, uh, yeah. uh, putting uh, observation. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and give this movie a grade. Plane or plane has fallen. Has fallen. what you give this movie, bro? Oh, three stars right out the gate, man. There you go. It's very fun. Uh, exciting action bag. I'm here for it, man. Uh, Blu-ray's going to get bought, man. Gerard <laughs> Butler's collection is building, baby. It's building. Yeah, most definitely. This movie is one of those I can watch at home. A feel-good movie. A feel-good oh, yeah. action movie. Uh, an introduction to action for people that are new to the genre. Uh, yes. Very interesting movie. Very interesting concept. Uh, Gerard Butler does not disappoint. And now Michael Coulter did not disappoint in this movie at all. Had a lot of fun watching this movie, especially from the fatalities that occurred. Uh, those calibers were amazing oh yeah uh, yes dope situations i'm also going to give this movie three stars out of five i can't go no higher than that because it is what it is <laughs> more more action movies mike Coulter. yeah I, I like what you brought to the table man uh yeah this is this is pretty dope and uh playing 
put the idea in my mind of a Call of Duty Modern Warfare movie. I need that. Yeah. Yeah, so thank and you for that. he be in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, oh, uh, I know exactly who they both can play too. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! But guess what? It's not about us. It's about y'all. Post your comments down below. Let us know what y'all thought about this movie. If you've seen it, please don't spoil it for anybody in the comments down below. But let us know what grade you guys give this movie. You can do letters, stars, or numbers. We'll get the message. Yeah. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. And don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And if you're looking for some more content, you can check our Patreon account out. There will be a link down below. There's some videos on there for you guys out there. Sign up. I'm J3. We're on the show, guys. Ninja Assassin. 100,000 subscribers, guys. What he said.